Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have a Matthew Tussaud. First time on the channel ever having a Matthew Tussaud. Matthew Tussaud has been around since 1886. This is a homage to the Rolex Explorer. It's actually kind of like a little collaboration between the um, Asian Mechanical Watch Group as well, which is on Facebook. So very cool, nice box. You got your warranty information, booklet, all this stuff in here. And then let's get the watch out of here. So this is a homage to the Rolex Explorer. And you know, a lot of Matthew Tussauds stuff, that's what it is. It's, it's Rolex homage watches. Um, back in the day when they first, you know, 1886, around there when they first started, they were doing like chime watches, minute repeaters, stuff like that. So some nice complications. Now it just seems like they're doing a lot of homages, okay? So here's here it is. Now the size of this, uh, let's get the uh, dimensions out of the way. We're at 35 millimeters from side to side. So a little smaller than your traditional Rolex Explorer. 42.7 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. You do have uh, drilled lugs as well, and then 13.5 millimeters thick, so kind of thick, a little, little bit of a thick watch here, and then 20 millimeter lug opening, okay? On the wrist, it actually looks pretty nice. It is a small watch. It, um, on my seven and a half inch wrist, you can really tell that it's quite small. In fact, I probably wouldn't be comfortable wearing this. If it was maybe a 36, Possibly a 38, I'd be all over this. Um, but um, but there's the sizing. Very beautiful black dial. Um, painted on markers. You have the Mercedes hand, just like the Rolex, Swiss made at the bottom. It's an automatic. It's running the, uh, let's see, what was that? It was a variation of the 2824. They're calling it the MT224. So I'm not sure... Who makes it? I don't know if it is a twenty eight twenty four, and that's their, their you know they call it the MT. I guess yeah, that's what it is. They call it the MT two two four. So it is a twenty eight twenty four, which is a twenty eight thousand eight hundred vibrations per hour uh, movement, uh, about forty hour power reserve. So decent tried and true movement. I'm not sure if Matthew Tussaud does any type of you know, um, of you know decoration on the movement or anything like that i'm not sure if it what grade that it is but i'm sure at this price point at 399 is probably just a a basic 28 24 but um anyway beautiful looking watch and like i said they uh this is if you look this is matthew Tissot there and then on the very back you have the um let's see where does it say Asia Mechanical Watches Group exclusive. So they are on Facebook. So you've got brushing all on the top, brushing on the bezel, sapphire crystal, polished on the sides, brushed on the back of the case. Very nice bracelet, all milled, nothing stamped. You have their little uh, their little piece lo sign there right there, their logo. Kind of looks like this style bracelet. Kind of looks like an Omega Seamaster style, like an Aqua Terra. And then it has like this faux riveted looking bracelet. There are faux rivets, but they are screwing links. So not bad. I mean, decent watch for the money. Um, and I like how it's just no net, no nonsense, just no date, just the time. Time only, which is perfect. Let's do a loom shot real quick. You saw it on the wrist. Let's do the loom and we can close. All right, let's do the loom shot. I'm sure it's just regular C3 Super Luminova. Yes, it is, looks really good. Turn the lights back on. So there you have it guys. This is the Matthew Tussaud homage to the Explorer. One, Rolex Explorer One. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.